Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Rose Wrights and I write and narrate Miraculous Ladybug fan fiction. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do that. It would really mean the world to me. Shout out to Candy Fluffs for this beautiful art. They have a store that has amazing miraculous creations and they're just all around a wonderful artist. So go show your support. Here is the second part of Secrets. A secret proposal. Milady, you're the love of my life. Will you marry me? Adrian Agrest took a knee, holding out a dainty rose gold wedding ring, hands shaking. And now. Plague burped out, wiping his mouth after taking another bite of camembert. Adrian stood, eyebrows furrowed in aggravation. What do you mean, no? I thought you were supposed to be helping me. If someone proposed to me without keys, that is a doomed relationship. Plague whined, to which his owner rolled his eyes. Plague, Adrian growled. He had been planning this proposal for months, but things never went his way. Someone needed saving, or they discovered Hawkmoth's identity. Something always came up. But not this time, not tonight. It was going to be perfect. Rooftop, candles, rose petals, maybe even a bit of music. Today just so happened to be her 20th birthday, so it needed to be one to remember. Adrian had been dating Marinette for the past four years, and finding out she was Ladybug was the cherry on top. They were always meant to be, and by this time tomorrow, she'd be his fiance. Hopefully. First, she had to say yes. Why wouldn't she say yes? Of course she'd say yes, right? Right. Adrian's breathing quickened as his thoughts raced. He broke out into a cold sweat. Kid, it's going to be fine. You're a catch, and you've been dating for years. Of course you'll say yes. Adrian smiled at Plague's attempt to cheer him up. Regardless of his sole focus on cheese, Plague did care about him. Adrian tried lightening the mood. You know, I'm not a kid anymore. He laughed, crossing his arms. His little cat Kwame zoomed above Adrian's head to ruffle his hair. You'll always be my kid. Thanks, Plague, Adrian said in return, patting Plague's head like an actual cat which he batted away. Yeah, yeah, don't make a big thing of it. Adrian took a deep breath in, exhaling slowly and steadily. Okay, time to go meet the future Mrs. Agrest. Ah, uh, can I finish my keys first? Plag rasped, gesturing to his nearly eaten container of camembert. Adrian chuckled, saying, Plag, claws out! On warm summer evenings, Marinette occasionally left the door to her balcony open. Cat Noir saw his opportunity. He landed gracefully and inched closer to the door and backwards leaned down, only his head and shoulders visible. Hiya, princess! Marinette was a typically jumpy person, but Cat Noir had tried to startle her one too many times. Hey, kitty, you can't scare me, she said without turning. She knew him all too well. He landed on her bed with a subtle thump, scampering down the ladder. Cat Noir sauntered over to the birthday girl, placing a kiss on the crown of her head. Can I give you one of your birthday presents? Cat whispered in her ear. Marinette whirled around in her chair to look Cat in the eyes. Adrian, I told you I didn't want anything for my birthday. What if it's a kiss? He smirked at her, moving close to her face, close enough to smell a light vanilla scent mixed with freshly baked cake. She giggled, bopping his bell. Now that I'll take. He leaned down, kissing her tenderly, cradling her face with one hand, and twirling a strand of her hair in the other. Hey, come with me. He stretched out his hand. Marinette took it, squeezing it lightly. Where are we going? You'll see, it's a secret. When on the balcony, he scooped her up in his arms, holding her tightly as if she could disappear at any moment. You know, I'm perfectly capable of getting there myself. She rolled her eyes, but with a smile plastered on her face. She made no effort to escape from his grasp. 
She'd never admit it, but she secretly liked Kat carrying her around. She often forgot how strong he actually was. But you're my princess, and it's your birthday. Let me do this for you. He gently pleaded. Okay, fine, but just this once. Cat Noir bounded across a few buildings with the use of his trusty staff. Nimbly, he landed on a clearing, putting Marinette on her feet. She took in her surroundings, awestruck. Candles lined the perimeter of the building with a small table in the middle dressed for two. Roses were scattered atop the building with the faint sound of La Vie en Rosa, one of her favorite songs playing nearby. Cat, it's... it's beautiful. Marinette twirled to take it all in. Only the best for you, milady. I love you. Cat Noir whisked her into another kiss, lingering, not wanting to part from her. While still holding her hands, he whispered, Claws in. Marinette smirked. Hey, handsome. She kissed his cheek. Still, after all of these years, she still sent ladybugs crawling around in his stomach. Adrian let out a nervous chuckle. <laughs> Who, me? He said, trying to make a joke. Of course you, silly. She stared at his face for a moment. Are you okay? Yes, yeah, I'm fine. Better than fine, actually. Adrian, palms clammy, lifted a hand to brush a piece of Marinette's hair out of her face. Okay. She looked at him skeptically, and they stared at each other in silence for an awkward amount of time before Adrian spoke again. We've been dating for a while, haven't we? He averted his eyes away from her prying gaze. How does one transition into a proposal? He usually felt calm and collected, but his thoughts were racing, heart pounding and seeing how beautiful she looked. It was miraculous he was still standing. Yes, we have. Are you sure you're feeling all right? He took a deep breath, meeting her bluebell stare. I'm great, actually. Better than I've ever been, and you're the reason why. He blushed furiously, his face on fire. Marinette snorted loudly, doubling over with laughter. <laughs> Stop it! He gently took her shoulders. I mean it. I'm in love with you, Marinette. Her posture straightened as she looped her arms around his neck, grinning from ear to ear. I'm in love with you too. I always have been. The blush spread to her face. I thought when I was here, I'd know what to say and what to do. I thought I'd have a speech prepared, but all I can think about is how beautiful you look right now and how much I love you. He stroked her face lovingly. She kissed his palm as it settled on her cheek. He continued, hands trembling slightly from the nerves. Now, Marinette Elizabeth Dupin Chang, I need to ask you a question. Usually, Marinette would have had some spunky rebuttal for using her full name, but no words left her lips. He looked so serious. All she could muster was a slight nod. He got on one knee, holding one of her hands. From his jacket pocket, he pulled a velvet box. Marinette covered her mouth with her free hand, tears pulling in her eyes. He cleared his throat as he flipped the box open. Marinette, will you do me the greatest honor and marry me? He spoke softly, a slight tremor in his voice. Marinette couldn't hold her tears back any longer. She joined her boyfriend on her knees, wiping tears from his eyes. She pressed her forehead to his and whispered, Of course, Adrian. I love you more than anything. I love you so, so much. Always. A sob broke through his throat. He clutched Marinette tight against his body, kissing her lips over and over again. He pulled back to look at her, taking in the sight of her in the moonlight. This girl was the love of his life, his partner, his soon-to-be wife. He placed the delicate ring on her finger and helped her to her feet. 
Marinette aggressed. It has a nice ring to it, don't you think? He whispered into her hair. She nuzzled her body deeper into his embrace, nodding. All the time in the world wasn't long enough to spend with Marinette. He wanted longer than that. Forever was right at their fingertips. Another day down, forever to go. Thank you so much for listening. Again, please subscribe if you haven't yet. That'd be amazing. And also, like and comment if you enjoyed what you heard. As always, stay miraculous.